Welcome back to the channel, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get to it. So recently I've been using Inkscape a lot, so I thought I'd do something a bit different, something a bit fun. What I've done, I've recreated the Jojo meme using Inkscape, and I'll just show you what I've done, just go through the processes once again, and at the end I'll tell you why I've done it. Right, let's get to it! Now this is the Jojo meme that I'm doing. So first of all, I started off with the picture itself, because I was using that as a reference, just copying over most of the details. So I'm making lots of different shapes to get the shadows, and I'm only really adding the essential lines, because I'll do the rest by adding sort of shadows and gradients to them. Same thing with the hands, do the outline first, then I'll go in and copy over all the line details. Then once I've got the line details over, I'll go in and get the shadow details. Now it's a pretty similar process for the rest of the body here. So as you see I'm doing the jacket. Once again copying over the shadows rather than drawing them in because it will just save a lot of time. So instead of adding a lot of this detail you can just add in gradients. So going over it, copying it over, just tweaking them lines just so they contour the shape properly. And that's the most time consuming part is getting them angles right. Then going in for the hair here, because once you've got the part made, you've got to make sure it lines up properly when you put it with the rest. Once again, adding the shadows, making sure that's in the right position, changing his collar here, adding gradients. Now for this bit, I cheated a little bit. I just went super basic and copied his belt using straight lines. Then I broke the legs into sections just to make it easier, more manageable. So that's the top part. Now this joint will be covered by these braces here. So once they're copied over, got to add in the line detail again, then add a gradient for color. And it's just a very similar process for the rest of this one. So yep, going in for the hand again, starting off with the lines, then the line detail, and then the shadows. But in this case, I just use the gradient just to save time. Then start with the legs again, start with the outside line with the colours, then the detailed lines, get that in position, then I can add in the shadows using a similar process. And by breaking it into separate parts it just makes it much more manageable. So if you do make a mistake you don't have to go back and change the entire thing. And by covering all the joints with like the breaks here, it just makes it easier, you can cover up mistakes better. So yeah, copy it for the legs. Very much the same process that I've used throughout. So yeah, copy that over, copy over the shadows. Then cover off the joints with these like knee pad things, I think they are. And same for the feet. Using colour gradients is a good way to save time. Now I'm just going over adding in a few more details. Now I'm starting with the outlining of this fire sort of stuff. Taking a bit of artistic license with how their edges finish because you can't see them on this one. So I've just added in a bit of extra detail. Cutting out all the little holes. Then adding in the second layer of colour just to give it a bit more depth. Now copying the ground, that was fairly simple. Just have to bend some lines to make them look the right angle. Then I'm copying over sort of the dirt on the floor just to make it look that much better. Now I'm doing the same thing for the other character here. This one was much simpler because he was wearing dark clothes. So instead of getting all of the line details, I could just add the details in as color. So this took much less time because of that, because it was much easier. So once again, just copying it over the basic outline. Then instead of adding lots of line detail, I just use gradients and put colour on top of it. So this took a lot less time in the end, but I think it still came out with a really good result. And with it being a smaller character as well, the detail didn't have to be as great. But yeah, once this was all copied over, 
it was rather easy to do. It's just making sure to get them colours in the right place. As you can see, they're highlighting them in a different colour just so they stand out before I change them back to the original colour. And working on the face and the hat. So yeah, this character's nearly done. Yep, got all the shadow details and his chain in there. It's time to start working on the background. Just a few final details. Now what I did, I copied the text over, but I only did it once and I just changed the size of it just to save on time. Put them in position. Now I made a line and copied it over loads and loads of times. Then added in the background just to get that sort of motion effect that's going on. Then I put a uh, white sort of radiant around the character there. And I think the end result was really good. Oh, so you're approaching me. So as you saw there, that's the Jojo meme that I recreated in Inkscape. I think overall it took about five hours, give or take. So it's a bit of a long time lapse, I know. But I think it was worth it in the end, because I think it looks really good. And now that I've done that in Inkscape, I now have control over all the colours and the characters, so I can change it if I really wanted to. I could put different characters in, change the colours of the clothes, change the background, you name it, I can do it now. So yeah, in the future I may adapt the design, change the characters up, and I think it could look pretty good. So yeah, that's all for now.